Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to close lips in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into masking, using Puppet Warp, and Liquify. So let's get started! So here in our document, I got here an image of this woman, where you will notice here that her lips are open. And our goal here is to close that. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a mask around her jaw. So to do that, we're going to make use of a polygonal lasso tool. So going on to the toolbar, to find a polygonal lasso tool, it's just on the third tool. First, second, third. Right click on the third tool. Under lasso tool is the polygonal lasso tool. Just click on that. All right. So let's create a selection on this part. So you can just follow on this. So I'll start making from here. Yes, we need to create a wide range for this. All right. So our selection is done. Now, let's create a layer of this selection. So to do that with this selection, all I have to do is to press Control plus J. So once I did that, we already created its own layer. See? Okay. I'll just bring that back there. All right. Now, let's hide the background layer for now. Just stick this one. Okay. Now, the next step I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the one that is inside her mouth. Those teeth. Okay. So I'm going to zoom this one in. Okay. And then, again, we're going to make use of the polygonal lasso tool. For the shortcut key, key you can just press L for that. Okay. Now, you can start creating a selection. from the inside part of her mouth. All right, now our selection is over. With this selection, I'm also going to the menu bar, go to select, under select, go to modify, and for the further, click on that. Let's just add it a 0.5 pixels, and then select, okay. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, Please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. So we're going back. Now, once we already have this selection, now let's select on that layer of that mouth. All right, this one. And then with that selection, I'm going to press backspace to delete the ones inside. All right, there you have it. Okay, now to remove the selection, all we have to do is to press Control plus D to deselect. Okay. Now, this is what we already have now. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to cut this to upper lip from the lower lip. Okay, so again, we're going to make use of the polygonal lasso tool. Okay, so we're going to start cutting out, cutting this out. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. All right, this one. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that you're going to cut this one exactly at the middle of your mouth. Okay, so just something like that. To divide the lower lip from the upper lip. All right, so I'm good with this. Let's just try the selection outside. Okay, now once we already have this, all we need to do is to press Control plus Shift plus J. So when I repeat, once we once we already have this selection to split this one into two layers, I'm going to press Control plus shift plus J. All right. So once I did that, look what happened. So this one is for the upper lip and this one is for the lower lip. Okay. So let's rename this one so from the layer one. I'm going to set this one to lower lip and from the layer two, I'm going to set this one to upper lip. Okay. We're done. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to apply the puppet warp tool. But before I do that, I'm going to make the background layer visible for us to align it properly. Okay. All right. So we're good with this. Now, selected on the upper lip. Let's start from that. With that upper lip layer selected, I'm going to the menu bar, go to edit, find the puppet warp. So it's located over here. So just click it. All right. So this one will appear. Now, we're going to create a points here for us to move the lower lip down. Okay, so I'll start making points from here. Okay, so one here and another one here. So that must be two. Also into the other side. A point here and another point here. Okay. 
All right, and then one in the middle. Okay, there you go. Now, once we already have this, we can now start dragging the point from the middle going down. Okay, so I'm doing like that. All right. So also here, I'm going to create another point here so that we can drag this one down. So something like that. Create a point. And then drag this one a bit like this. Okay, now I'm good with this. Once you're good with that, press enter. Okay. Now the next step here, I'm going to select on the lower lip. We're going to do the same method. So select on the lower lip layer. Then let's go to the menu bar. Go to edit. Under edit, find puppet warp. Okay, so just what we did. Let's create two points from each side. So first point and another point here. Also to the other side. Point and another point here. Okay, now this time I'm going to create a point also in the middle. Okay, and then let's drag this one going up. All right, and also here I'm going to create a point over here so I can also drag this one to make that balance. All right, so something like that. Also here, create another point here. I'm gonna press enter after that. Okay, so we already done with this, but at, actually it's not that yet close, right? Okay, because I just want to bring this low upper lip lower. All right. So again, we're gonna do that same method. So select on the upper lip, go to edit, go to pop it warp. Okay, so let's create those points once again. Okay, but this time I'm gonna Create a point here in the middle and then drag only this one. Okay. But not too much. Okay. Maybe something like this. And then press enter. Okay. So we already have this one. Now the next step here to, to close the mouth. Now I'm going to select on the lower lip layer. Right. With that selected, we're going to apply the liquify here. So go into the menu bar, go to filter. Yes, this one. Click this. And then find liquify. And this one will appear. Right. So from the forward warp tool, the first tool on top, the, or just press W for that. Okay, I'm going to increase the size of our brush here. So to do that, to increase the size, all I have to do is to press the close bracket key. Okay, all right, so I'm good with this size. Now I'm going to click and drag it going up. Not that too much, okay, uh, something like this. All right, and then press OK. Let's see the changes. OK, now there you go. Now we already closed that. OK, now I'm going to press Z for the zoom and then zoom, zoom this one out. All right, so actually I'm good with her smile. We already closed her lips. OK, but there are parts that we have to clean up, right? So just like those edges from the upper lip and the lower lip. Now look at that. It looks terrible, right? So our goal here is to clean that up. Now. I'm going to select on the lower lip, okay, and then I'm going to create a mask. So just go down here, right? Select this, add a mask icon, okay, all right, and then click on that white thumbnail. Then I'm going to the toolbar, press B or find a brush tool, okay, this one, okay. For the options, go on top. I'm going to set this one to a soft round brush, okay. For the opacity, I'm going to set this one to 40%, and for the flow of 100%. And for the foreground color, I'm going to set this one to color black. Okay, so once all said and done, we can adjust the brush size. So just what we did, we can just press close bracket key for that. Okay, and then let's clean up those edges like this. Now look at that. Looks so natural when I'm trying to clean that up, isn't it? Okay, now also to the upper lip, select on that upper lip. Just what we did, let's create a mask. Add a mask on it. Go to the add mask icon here down below. Click on that. Select on that thumbnail and then go to the toolbar. Press before the shortcut key. We already set the option, so no, no need for the changes. For the foreground color, set that to black. And then let's keep on cleaning those edges. All right, now there you have it. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this one in. Okay, so let's just clean a few from here. All right, so I'm going to select on that upper lip. So I'm going to clean just this one on top. All right, so select on the thumbnail again. All right, and then press B. Now for the size, I'm going to lessen this out. Okay, so something like that, as big as this. By the way, for the shortcut key of decreasing the size of the brush, all I have to press is the 
open bracket key, right? So also for the opacity, I'm gonna set this one just to 20%. Okay, we're good. Now let's go and... All right, so let's zoom this one out. Let's see. Okay, now that looks better. Something like this, just bitting her lips. Okay, now let me show you the before and after. This one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to close lips in Photoshop.